Hello, welcome to Chackle Trading, Coach G here. And today I'm gonna to show you a simple way to do what's called a contingent stop bracket. So if you're looking at our scouting report, this comes in real handy. It makes life real simple, saves you time. In this video, it's gonna be video one of three. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use it. In the next video, I will show you how to build one of these brackets. It's a custom build in Thinkorswim. And in video three, I'll show you an advanced way to use it. So let's say you're going to the scouting report here and you're scanning through the most recent watch list. I'm going to bring it up. I'm just going to pick the first one as an example here. Here's KMMX, that symbol KMX. It's a bullish scouting report pick. The entry triggers when the stock hits 66.40. Now, this is when we're gonna buy our calls. As soon as the stock crosses above 66.40. And then if it drops below 64.40, that will be the exit. I'm not gonna worry about the target right now. I'm just worried about my entry and my stop trigger. The strategy I'm gonna use is gonna be long the 65 calls at the trigger point. So I'm gonna be buying the 65 calls when the stock goes above 66.40. So let's see what this looks like on the chart. Here's the stock right here, here's KMX. It's found support. Here's the last pivot. So when it gets above here, about 66.40, that's where we're gonna buy the calls. And if it gets below 64.40, that's the loss exit to stop us out, to protect us. We'll put a visual on there for you. There's the entry trigger. The stock goes above there. And here's the stop. So to place this as a contingent order, I've created this special bracket. This is a great feature inside of Thinkorswim. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna right click the option I want. I'm gonna go up to buy custom. Now remember this is pre-built. So in the next video, I'll show you how to build it. And there's my stop bracket. It pulls up my entry order, which is in green, and my exit order, which is in red. I calculate my risk management and how many contracts I want. This is for example only, I don't always do four. So you put the contract size in there. So when I buy on the trigger, I'm gonna be buying four contracts. And again, if it hits the stop loss, it'll sell those same four contracts. So all I have to do is put in the quantity and then second, I need to come over to the entry, put in my entry order. Here's the contingent screen. I don't need to change anything in here. I click under symbol, it puts in the symbol KMX. The mark, I leave that alone. I'm bullish, so if the stock is at or above my trigger, which is 66.40, that's where those calls would be bought. So it knows to buy for the calls when KMX is at or above 66.40. Scroll down, hit OK. Now notice that little sprocket over there on the right. The plus sign disappeared because I just added something. Now my stop, my stop loss exit order down here, I need to click on that plus sign and enter my trigger to get out. So again, here's my contingent order. The symbol automatically pops in there. That stays at mark. If the stock drops at or below my trigger of 6440, it gets me out. I scroll down, don't forget to save it. Hit OK. That's all I did. The contracts and the triggers. Confirm and send. And a little trick here. Make sure you read it out loud. You don't have to worry about the bracket order. It's set up correctly. It's the content the conditions here. So I'm buying four of the calls. If KMX mark price is at or above 66.40, I'm selling the same four calls if KMX mark drops below 64.40. I hit send, and if you look at the chart, it is now in there. There it is. Now just to show you what happens as it goes forward, what if it doesn't trigger? Now if it goes up and goes above this, it will trigger, it'll buy these calls, and then the stop will be in place. But watch what happens if it doesn't trigger. Here's the 12th. Notice it came down over here. 
Here's the 13th, still hasn't triggered. Here's the 14th, it's down here. And here's the 15th. So it never triggered, so therefore I didn't take a loss because I was never put into the trade. Now if it would have triggered, my entry order would be filled, you wouldn't see this green one here anymore, and then the stop would be in place. There you have it, there's a contingent stop bracket. In the next video I'll show you how to put that bracket together, but this will save you a lot of time, especially if you're following a watch list like our scouting report where we give you the triggers. All you have to do is click on the options on the strategy, put in your trigger points, and you're done. These orders can be set up at night, on the weekend, prior to the trading day. It just makes life real easy. Hope to catch you next time. This is Coach G with Tackle Trading. Stay tuned for more videos.